In this lecture, we are going to cover one of the important topics that is test level. There is only one learning objective in this session, but it contains a lot of topic in it. Here, we have to compare the different test levels from the perspective of objectives, test bases, test objects, typical defects and failures, and approaches and responsibilities. Let's start with a definition. What are test levels? Test levels are groups of test activities that are organized and managed together. Now let's try to figure out where test levels come in in the larger picture. Here is the test process. This test process will have different test levels. And the test levels will have different test activities inside them, which are organized and managed together in order to achieve the objective. Now, there is a point you need to remember. For every test level, a suitable test environment is required. Component testing and system testing require two different test environments. With that being said, let's look at the different test levels. The first is component testing. As soon as your code is ready, we'll perform the component testing. Once that is done, the next level of testing is integration testing. Here, you'll be able to see how two components or more interact with each other. Next, you will carry out the system testing, after which you will do the acceptance testing. Now, where is each type of testing conducted? The first two, component and integration testing, is carried out in the developer's lab setup. So wherever the developer is, they can perform these tests. But for the next two, system testing and acceptance testing, you require a test environment. This can be a real or simulated environment suited to the needs of the test. In the coming lectures, for each of the test levels, we're going to see specific objective of that level, and then we will see what are the different test bases required for that level. Here, test basis means different types of requirements. Next, we need to understand which test object shall be tested under the test level. Test object is nothing but test item, which is under test. After test object, we have to remember type of defect and failure found under test level. And at last, we need to know who is responsible for testing in particular test level. So soon, we are going to get lots of information and you have to remember all the points.